Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a dip and I'm still using up my um, leftover paints. Almost done. I got about half, half of them left so I just want to use them up and I want to do a dip. So I am going to dip on these. These are little wooden little wooden uh, hexagon um, canvases. If I have enough paint I might use this one as well. It's the same thing. It's just a square. They're not very big. I don't know what these ones are. These ones are four and a half inches. These ones are five inches. And these ones are four inches. This one is four inches. Four inches, four and a half, five. Okay. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna add black to the, I've got a, um, what do you call it? What is this? Silicone mat here. I'm going to add paint, black paint on, on here and um, black paint on my canvas, each canvas as I, after I dip, or before I dip, sorry. And I'm gonna add black on my canvases and then I'm gonna dip and lift up. So let's put down the black paint first. Black paint is just Artist Loft Flow ac um, Acrylic or Soft Body and um, mixed with some Floetrol. don't need a very thick layer of paint on the on your mat because you're putting paint also putting paint on the uh, canvas so let's try this one first okay I think that's good My paints are all mixed with um, 80, Bare 8300 and a uh, little bit of varnish, not much. And some of them are mixed with um, my PPG um, untinted paint. I can't remember the name of it right now. Kitchen bath and trim or something like that. So I'm using, these are my colors, Azo Orange. And it's, uh, I don't know what kind of azo orange it is, uh, mixed with, um, bum, bum, bum. mixed with PBO iridescent orange. I've got, um, Brilliant Magenta by Joe Sonia. And I've got Maricino and Boogie TLP paints mixed together. Okay. Um, I'm just going to drizzle my paint on.
Oh, I forgot. I'm going to be adding some uh, chameleon on here, too. This is... Um, that's resin chameleon paint. This is uh, blue. Uh, where should I put it? And now I've got the Maraschino and Boogie. There's a lot of paint on here. Maybe I should do the bigger one. No, I don't have enough paint. Okay, I'm going to do this one here. <clears throat> but I got to paint on here first. I'm not going to do the edges until um, after it dries, I'll paint the edges. also on here a very thin layer okay so I just place it right on top Make sure I've got everything covered Just press it down. And then I'm going to lift up this way. Slippery. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's really nice. I have a couple of air bubbles. That's really pretty. That's even that's really nice too. I think I'm gonna leave that and let that dry. I'm gonna work over here next. So I just want to show you what it looks like. Oops. Okay, that's one done. It's very pretty. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to show you a close-up of this one. That'll make a nice, nice skin for whatever, for some jewelry or... Okay, so here I go, another one.
I'll just do the same order. That looks really, really, really nice. Okay, so. Some magenta. I think I did it in this order. Actually, I think I put the orange on first. No, I'm not really sure. Magenta is a little on the thick side. It's good. Okay, I'm going to lift this one up again. Very pretty. It's better than the other one. Very nice. Very nice. too. Actually, that's better than that. So I think I'm going to dip over that one and I'm going to leave this one. So I'm going to just dip. I'm just going to use this one. There's a lot of paint on here. I'm going to save this one here. So I like this one better. I don't really need two of them. So. And 
just going to add paint to this and I'm going to dip right over top of that. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. If not, I can just add more paint to the to the mat, to the mat, and then go from there. This technique is very easy. It's um it's good for using up leftover paints. All right, I'm just going to dip on this one. making sure everything is making contact. It's very slippery so you have to hold it. Okay. Oh, very nice. And that even looks better. Cool. There you go. Easy, easy. showing you a close-up of them. You can see the chameleon paint here and here and here. I don't know if you can see that. Not so much on this side, but a little bit. Just a little bit right there. All right. Okay. I'll let them dry and I'll show you uh, the results at the end of the video. Hi, I'm back with the dried result. Dried, dried really nice, nice and flat. And this part here, the shiny parts, is from the chameleon. The blue chameleon. This doesn't have as much as that one had. And then there's this one. A little bit. Okay, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.